Well, Scott, that first cruise was, about, was on Ballard's bucket list. She said the thousands of dollars she spent wasn't worth the scary ordeal she went through. A frightening experience for a Canton couple celebrating their wedding anniversary on a Caribbean cruise. We feel the boat all of a sudden shake, it's dun, 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 like a, a hard vibration. Wendy Ballard says she was on Carnival Glory when it crashed into another large vessel in Mexico. And we were directly a few floors above where this went in, so it was terrifying. The Carnival legend was docked at the port in Cozumel. The glory was pulling into port when the Friday collision happened. Ballard was standing on the deck four floors above. She saw the ship getting closer and closer. I started bracing myself in the doorway. I said, we're not going to clear it. We're not going to clear it. And my husband's telling me, don't be dramatic. It's, it's going to be OK. And then all of a sudden, we feel the vibration and it's shaking. He goes, holy crap, we did it. And you just don't expect that. Ballard said the impact felt like a small earthquake. The crew quickly evacuated the passengers. They're trying to herd you like cattle to get off the boat. So you get off and you see exactly what it looks like, but we don't know what kind of damage is truly there after hitting it. Passengers were forced to remain on the damaged ship as it made the trip back to New Orleans. Ballard said they hit rough seas in the Gulf of Mexico. You couldn't walk, you couldn't sleep, you couldn't do anything because just the, the rocking was so intense. Now, Ballard says she will find a different way to celebrate her next anniversary. Conorville said six passengers on that ship were injured. Live in the studio, Ross Adams, 16, WAPT News.